Are your characters jealous of Danny and Beep because they can jump through holes? It turns out that you can make any character pop out of a hole. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Crate Studio Pro tutorial. Let's examine the video closely. First, there is a black oval forming on the ground. Next, a character rises quickly out of the oval to just above ground level. The black hole disappears and the character lands on the ground. The trick to make this effect looking convincing is that we do not see any of the character until it pops out of the hole. Masking is what makes that possible, so let's get started. Insert your background and fill the canvas. To make the hole, click on shape at the top and then click on circle. Size and position the blue circle. Change the color from blue to black using the color selector in the top right. Then to turn the circle into an oval, click on the horizontal edge and drag it until it looks like a hole formed from the ground. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next step is to have the hole magically appear. Move the playhead forward about a second and add a scale animation, which will put two diamonds on the circle track. In the top right, change the scale value to zero. We want the hole to form quicker than half a second. In Crate Studio, there are 30 frames per second. So to form the hole in half a second, we need to place the second diamond of the animation 15 frames forward in time. I personally like to form the hole slightly quicker, so I chose 12 frames. Double click on the triangle icon 12 times, or you can use the frame counter and move the playhead with your mouse. Once the playhead is in position, click and drag the second diamond to the playhead. Now to shrink the hole, Move the playhead forward a few frames and add another scale animation. This time, close the hole faster than its formation by moving the playhead forward about 6 frames. Move the end diamond to the location of the playhead and in the top right, change the scale to 0. Move the playhead back to a time where the hole is fully displayed. Next, select the character you want to pop out of the hole and drag it onto the canvas. Change the action to idle and extend the duration of the action by dragging the end of the clip to the right. Size and position the character over the hole, making sure that no part of the character is wider than the edge of the hole. Move the character track so that it starts before the hole appears. In the middle of the hole forming, select the character's track and add a position animation. Move the character so that it is completely below the hole. Click on the second diamond and move the character so its feet is above the hole. Tip: Hold the shift key while dragging the character up. This will keep it perfectly vertical. Okay, it looks like I need to adjust the timing of the hole and character. Move the animation of the hole shrinking by mouse clicking on it and dragging it to the right. Back on Jack's track, click on the second diamond and add another position animation. Move the playhead forward six frames and then drag the end diamond back to that playhead. Move the character down to make it look like it is landing on the ground. You may need to fine-tune the animation timings by scrubbing your playhead through the timeline. Shorten the idle action to just beyond that second diamond and add new actions to the character track. Here I will add Happy and Dancing to Jack. Now that Jack's movements and actions are set, it is time to create the mask to hide Jack while he starts popping out of the hole. First, hide the Jack track with a right mouse click and select Hide. Next, move the playhead to where the hole is fully formed. 
In the top left, just right of the Create Studio logo, click on Pin. There are several things to notice while the Pin tool is active. First, the Pin on the top is highlighted. Second, there is a Pin menu on the far right. The menu displays the mouse actions and we will use several of these. At the bottom of the menu is a Connect Shape button plus an Exit Pin Tool button. OK. Move your mouse to the leftmost point of the hole and click. Now move your mouse to the rightmost point and this time click and drag the mouse. And dragging the mouse creates a Bezier curve. Move the Bezier endpoints to curve the line on the edge of the hole. Double click on the first point to add Bezier endpoints and adjust so the curve matches the curvature of the hole. Add another point below the canvas to the right of the hole. Next, add a point below the canvas to the left of the hole. Finally, click Connect Shape and the blue mask shape has been made. Okay, I see a small gap between the blue shape and the black hole. To fix that, double click one of the boxes on the outline and adjust the Bezier curve. When done, click on the Exit Pen Tool. Now duplicate the image track at the bottom of the timeline and move the duplicate to the top. Select both the path and the image. Right mouse click and click on Mask Image with Path. Oops, I forgot to get rid of the border of the shape. Man, I do that all the time. But it is easy to fix. Right mouse click on the image track and unmask. Select that path and change the border width to zero. See that up in the top right? Select both tracks and mask again. Okay, it is time to bring Jack back. So select the Jack track, right click, and click on Show. All right, let's play that and see how it looks. See how Jack's feet disappear when he lands? That is because of the mask. We need to shrink the duration of the mask so that it only applies before Jack reaching the top of his jump. I will trim the start of the mask to the start of Jack's track and trim the end to just after Jack pops out of the hole. Let's play that again. Perfect! There you go. That is how you can make any character pop out of a hole. Hey everyone, have a great day and happy creating.